guys, welcome back to another reading vlog. So I am starting this reading vlog a little late. Today is Tuesday and I've got a lot that I want to read this week and I'm really, really, really excited. So first things first, I am currently reading Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. This was the book that Hannah sent me for our book exchange. If you don't know and haven't been following our vlogs, Hannah and I decided to do a book exchange and we sent our, each other two books and this was the new adult romance that she chose for me. So I am currently about 50 pages of the way through and I am just loving her annotations. She highlighted and underlined and she wrote in the margins. It's great. Like this one, she had a lot to say on the bottom of this page. It's, it's fantastic. So I'm loving reading her thoughts. As far as the book is concerned, it's a little tropey and I could either go two ways with this book. I could either really, really love it or I could not like it. I'm only 50 pages of the way through, so, you know, not that far yet. So I wanna, wanna keep an open mind. But I will say, when I was watching Hannah's videos and when she was talking about this book and describing like the romance and the characters, I was getting like flashbacks to when I read on Dublin Street and as you know I hated that book. I don't know if that bodes well for this book. And I don't know, I'm having like trouble with like the writing seems a little clumsy and I'm only 50 pages in so I'm really trying to keep an own mind but yeah the writing style seems a little clumsy and not really sophisticated. Oh, I feel bad saying that. It just doesn't flow very well. Anyways, I'll, let me read more and then I will have more of a input later once I get a little bit further than 50 pages. That is it for this update. I will probably be going to bed shortly. So I think I might just read a little bit more of Fixer Up. I will say that I am reading this book very quickly. Like I got through 50 pages in no time. So I think I'll be able to get through this book really, really quickly. And if I still have time during this reading vlog, then I will try to pick up The Gravity of Us, which is our Muggle Studies book club pick for February. So this is by Phil Stamper, and this is his debut novel. So we we're really excited to read this. It is a male-male romance. I'm really, really excited to read it. It is set in Houston, Texas. So yeah, I'm excited. So that is it for this update, and I will update you guys later. Hey guys, so it has been quite a long time since I've picked up the camera. I don't, honestly don't remember when my last update was. I think it was maybe like, maybe two weeks ago. Mm. I think it was at like the beginning of February, and today is February like 26. 26. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's been a long time. But as you can see, we are in our new home. So we've just been for the last two weeks essentially packing up everything and getting the, everything ready. Sorry if it's echoey, it's very bare. Like we have essentially just a few things that we had at the apartment here with us. Everything is still in storage. I don't have any updates on reading, to be honest. But I do. Kevin does. He finished Queen of Shadows. <laughs> and what did you think of Queen of Shadows? Wait. That was What did I start? You just started Empire of Storms. Oh, I got had them backwards. Yeah, so you <laughs> uh, you finished Queen of Shadows. Yeah, it was good. It was good. That's all I got. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> it made me want to read the next one, which yeah. I'm now doing. So okay. I'm already uh, a good portion of the way through Empire of Storms mm -hmm. and enjoying that. Which one are you liking better so far? I, just, I don't know. They blend. It's hard. Mm -hmm. kind of, I don't actually know where like the separation. Yeah, it starts to I just think of become. It as, like, I think of it as one long it, story. It honestly starts to become one continuous long story. Um, yeah, like we'll sit down and we'll talk and I have to like be really careful not to spoil something because something that yeah. happened, I'm really bad about that. Something that happened maybe in like the last book, Kingdom of Ash, I'll like 
think that maybe it happened in like Queen of Shadows. I don't, because it's just like the story just kind of blurs together because it's so good and there's so much going on that I forget what specific event happened in what book, so. And apparently I'm supposed to read Assassin's Blade. Yeah, he hasn't read Assassin's Blade yet. He's already in Empire of Storms, um, but I think that you should probably read Assassin's Blade before Tower of Dawn just to get a really good, I mean, you should have read it before Empire of Storms, but definitely before Tower of Dawn because there is a character that overlaps and to get that really like, I guess, intense like connection, I think you should read mm -hmm. Assassin's Blade or at least one of the stories sure. of Assassin's Blade. So we plan on getting internet hopefully tomorrow. So um, we should have our live show hopefully soon. These next couple of vlogs, now that we're finally here, I'm gonna try and sit down and really read The Gravity of Us because that is our Muggle Studies book club pick for February. And I haven't really, yeah, I know it's really bad. What's your live show? Um, we haven't decided when our live show is yet, but I'm... February is gone. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So, um, especially since we're not like fully, fully, fully moving all of our furniture out of the storage unit for another few days. So essentially like there's really nothing much to do. And we have no internet, so I'm maybe I can actually sit down tonight and actually read. Like it'll be perfect oh, yeah. because there's no internet, we don't have a TV. We have essentially nothing, so it'll be a good way for me to read. I kind of want to show you the study. Not sure if you guys really care about like a tour or anything. This is going to be my new study, and I've already brought in a lot of my books that I had at the apartment. So as you can see, I've got my books packed. So I've got one box here, here, here. And in here so I've got my books kind of all packed up I won't be getting any of my nice bookshelves until Saturday those are in storage I definitely want to do like a setting up my bookshelf video a bookshelf tour I feel like it's kind of like the perfect time to do a bookshelf tour I try and do one every year I don't think I did one last year but I did one two years ago when we moved into our other house so now that we are in our new house i want to do an unpack with me video so i think that'll be a lot of fun let's see if i even i don't even remember where uh the book is for the gravity of us oh and we have a zara and we have a zara we have a cute little Zara right there. So I need to find The Gravity of Us. I don't think it's in here. I wanna say this is my Throne of Glass series, my Harry Potter Illustrated Editions. Don't think it, I wanna say it's in here, but let's see. This is my Empire of Storms. What? <gasps> Aw, cute! <laughs> uh, let's see, up, oh, red, white, and world, royal blue, merge, I thought, I want to say it's in here. I mean, I didn't have that many books with me, I think I counted, ah, there it is, I see it. Oh no, this book got bent. My favorite one, sea swept, got bent a little bit. It's okay. Uh, yep, here it go, with the gravity of us. So I need to read this. So I talked to Hannah earlier this week and she said that she already started The Gravity of Us and she said she so far is liking it. She's not very far but she said it's really cute and typically these books don't take me a long time, especially male male romance and this book is like 300 pages. That is kind of my plan for tonight. I know I should probably like do some unpacking. I've got all of this. Sorry, come here. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Good girl, come say hello, it's been a while. 
you need a haircut. Yes, you do. Our dogs have been staying with my parents because we didn't have them at the apartment. So now we're really, I'm really excited to have my puppies back. I know, sweet girl. I know, I know. And so she, she needs a haircut. She needs some, she needs some grooming. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Um, and so she's kind of like, where is this? She's in a new place. She's just like sniffing around and she's very, very, very confused. Wicket seems to be adapting just fine. He's such an easy dog that he is not very high maintenance. So I think now I'm going to make some tea and I will update you guys later. So these are just some of my teas. I think I might do sleepy time. This might be a really good one. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with herself. Good morning, everyone. So, as you can see, I am still kind of figuring out where to place things. I have all of my books but I don't have my bookshelf, so let me show you what I have so far. As you can see, I have all of my books. Those are all of my books. So we got the books, but we still need to get the bookshelves. Honestly, the rest of today is to really finish moving, get everything out of our storage unit, and then start assembling and putting things together. We haven't decided if we want to put my books upstairs and I film there because it's carpeted. I know I could get a rug, but it'll have less echo. There's a lot more windows upstairs, a lot more natural light. Actually here, let me show you. So this is the study that we have. I mean, there's two natural lights, it's really nice. Um, and it comes from the front. So it goes from the front door directly into the office, you can see. And I really like it, but I, that's how it was in our last house. But the only problem was that every time someone came over, I really didn't like having my studio, like all of my lights up and everything that you can see. So then our other thought was to film upstairs. So this is kind of like the little game room upstairs and we were debating on maybe putting my shelves here. Um, you can see there's like windows here. You can see it's open to the living room and there's windows there. So there's a lot of natural light up here. So I can't decide if I want to film up here, put my bookshelves here. I can get a really cute little chair and just leave my desk downstairs with my computer and actually make that my study. I think it'd be really cute to have a little filming area. Bookshelves here. I can get like a little couch, like something here that I can put. I don't know. Just, I think this is like a really cute little nook. So, I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I should leave it in the study because it's really pretty with the doors or if I should bring it up here. I feel like it's less echoey here and there's a lot more natural light and I might like that a little bit more. Plus, like, I can keep my lights and my tripod and all of that out of the way. So that'll be nice. And I think Kevin might really like that as well. And he might like not having to go upstairs to be on his computer every time and we can just keep the computers downstairs. So yeah, that's kind of our thought process. Plus we have dogs, so sometimes it's nice to keep our electronics behind closed doors. They don't chew or anything, but you never know. You never know if they decide to get mischievous. Anyways, let me go ahead and tell you about what I am reading right now. I am still reading The Gravity of Us. I have it in my cute little book sleeve. I thought it was, I don't know. 
I like the colors it matches really well. So I am still reading The Gravity of Us. I'm about 50 pages in so far, so I've made a little bit of a dent. And I have to say, I am really liking it. So I'm just gonna give you a quick synopsis of the book because now I think I know, I kind of went in a little bit more blind. I remember reading the synopsis when Hannah and I picked this book for a Muggle Studies book club, but now I remember a little bit of what it's about. Cal's father gets chosen to be an astronaut on a mission to go to Mars, so he has to move with his family from New York City to Houston, Texas. And Cal's goal is to become a journalist, so he films videos, he does a lot of reports about New York City and politics. I really like that aspect. I think it's very cool. It's definitely something that's relatable since I film videos as well and you know we go through his thought process of how he plans things out and he puts everything in his calendar and stuff so I think that's really really great. We are getting articles of like the other astronaut families which I think is really cool. So this book is written in two different formats. We've got Cal's first person point of view and then we have like video interviews from the other families that are going to be going on this mission to Mars and we get a look at their family and their children and spouses. I think the family dynamic is very interesting between the parents and Cal. I do like how the author addresses the family problems and the dynamic. So far I'm really liking it. It flows really, really well. It reads so quickly and yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I think I'll be able to finish it really soon, which I have to because we do have a date for our live show. It is going to be this upcoming Tuesday. I want to say that is March. I can't believe we're already going into March. Yeah, so March 3rd. That is pretty much it. I don't know how much I have of this video, but I think I might end my reading vlog here. And comment down below, let me know what you think where I should put my bookshelves. If I should put them in the study here or if I should put them upstairs, let me know. And then my next video can be like me putting up my shelves and reorganizing my books. Luckily, because I am crazy and very type A, I labeled every box has what books are in each box. Like not every single book, but like I have a box for my adult, I have a box for my young adult, I have a box of like my um, Harry Potter books and like my YA trilogies. So I have an idea of what book is in each box. So hopefully organizing and putting them back on my shelf won't be too too much of a struggle. I think I'm gonna get a third one honestly. I think I might leave those little white Target ones that I had before how I had them like stacked on top of each other. I think I might like leave these down here maybe and then I might get another third one because I got a few books since we moved and I might need another actual bookshelf and I really like how those look. I got them from Ikea so they're fairly inexpensive. We were able to put it in our car and so yeah, I think that might be what we'll do. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. Sorry I didn't have too much of an actual reading update. Just this move has consumed us. But like I said, I am really enjoying The Gravity of Us. I think it's gonna be a really good one. So far 50 pages in and I'm really, really enjoying it. So that is it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye.